So it's the Royal College of Art, Design Products Department, Platform 21, 2014, making a project with OK Go and Korg. They have to learn to play one of our songs using these instruments they've created out of, out of the bits of Korg machines and whatever else they can, they can bring to bear. They have to learn to play one of our songs using these instruments they've created out of out of the bits of chord machines and whatever else they can they can bring to bear. So they're using mostly analog synthesizers, and analog synthesis is um, is one of the most conf confusing things in the world. I mean, um, people spend their lives getting really, really good at using at, you know at, at being able to get the sounds they want out of out of analog synthesizers. Students who largely don't use synthesizers at all are being asked to figure it all out in you know, six weeks. And watching them, watching it pour into their heads is amazing. So our members divide into three groups and each group has got really different approaches. Team OK is first group. They are noticed like electronic musical instruments have a small movement in the playing. So they want to expand. So like they're using like series of magnifying glasses, like kinetic sculpture to make like a dynamics of the how to play electronic musical instruments. And then we have Chim Z. So Chim Z created series of the keyboard which is poem itself. It can be a really interesting element on the stage. Last group called Chim O, like they created two different projects. One approach is kind of using inflatable material to expanding the movement of the electronic musical instruments. And the second one, like they created tools like doing basking with electronic musical instruments. So in this project, like OK Go and Cox were greatly involved and also it's a really amazing result we had. So if you want to see more detail, like please access to hacknode.co.uk.